In this video, I'm going to present a step-by-step -step process to create a character with the exact pose that you want. So we are going to be using a concept called image to pose. In this case, we provide a reference image with a certain pose and the character is supposed to have exactly the same pose. This is different than the normal image to image. In normal image to image, your reference image is used to define the style and composition of your output image. But in this case, the reference image is only for defining the pose, not the style or the composition of our output image. So keeping that in mind, do you think we can create characters with this pose uh, to find out watch till the end? So in this video, we are going to be testing this new tool called Leonardo.ai for image to pose models. But let me quickly give you an overview if you're not familiar with this tool. It's a new web UI based tool which is a potential competitor to Midjourney. There are a few neat features that I haven't seen in any other of them. So one of them is this featured models. So there are a number of models that are available that you can use and these are specialized models. For example, uh, so this one RPG is based on characters then like a paper art style. There's another model for that then illustration and so on and so forth. Next you see there is a community feed where people are showcasing their work. A great feature that I really like is the ability to train your own models. So you can actually upload your own data sets and then uh, create your own models uh, for your own work. They give you the ability to train 10 models per month for their free tiers at the moment. And with their free, free tier, you can generate 200 images per day. I will be making a lot more content on this amazing tool. Uh, so if you're interested, please consider subscribing to the channel. All right, so for today's video, the focus is image to pose. Uh, so for that, you need to go here to the AI image generation. Uh, let me walk you through the interface. So here, it's a, a place where you can uh, input your own prompt. Then if you want to use a specific type of model, you can select it from here, right? And you have the ability to provide negative prompts as well. So there's a toggle for that. And then they have this magic prompt, uh, which actually adds some extra uh, things to your prompt to make it more appropriate for what uh, type of images you are generating, right? And uh, then like you have the ability to select the number of image, the dimension of the image, then the guidance scale, number of steps, and so on and so forth. But the thing we are interested in today is this image to image. So let me first generate a simple image using this prompt, a stylized girl standing wearing round sunglasses. So it was inspired from one of the uh, community uh, posts. So let's wait for the model to generate the image. So here is the image of a girl standing in fashion pose. Now we want to change her pose, okay? So that's where you come image to image. And I have a few images which you can select. So let me select this one. So in normal image to image, what happens is your output image style and composition is going to be based on your input image. So the image that you select that will drive the style and composition of your output image. However, in this case, you will see this a toggle button post to image. If you turn this on, so it will completely ignore the style and composition of the input image. Rather, it will try to replicate the pose of the subject in the image. So with this, let's uh, rerun our prompt and let's try to replicate uh, this pose. So click on generate. Wow, uh, so it took a few minutes but it's able to actually really replicate uh, the pose of the person in the first image. So you see the hand is uh, near the face now. It's actually pretty impressive, I would say. Okay, let's uh, try something a little bit more complicated. So let's say I have this image of the person doing Tai Chi. So let's see if we can regenerate the image using this pose. Click generate. Let's wait for the output. Oh wow, uh, this is pretty impressive. Now you see the pose is pretty consistent with 
what we had in our input image, right? In this case, the wrist is inwards, but uh, I think it's pretty nice. Let's uh, try to know some more uh, complicated stances. So I'm going to try this. That's an exercise pose. Let's see uh, if we can regenerate our, our image based on this pose, okay? Oh, this is pretty neat. It's actually like if you look at the leg, the second leg and the hands, it's very similar to the pose of your original input image. Let's uh, do a couple or couple more. So for example, this one, it seems to be a pretty complicated one, given like the way uh, the person is sitting. Let's click this. Let's see what the outcomes are. Okay, so this is interesting. It definitely is able to uh, mimic that pose. In some cases, for example, here, there uh, seems to be like a twisted limb. Um, so, but you, but considering we didn't use negative prompts at all, we can actually uh, take care of that. So that shouldn't be a big problem. But I think like it, overall, it seems to be working pretty nicely. Let me try a couple more. Um, so for example, here, this might be uh, a little hard one to replicate, but let's test it out. Oh, this is not bad at all. The The hands could be outward, but I think it's able to mimic it, so that's nice. All right, and the last test that we're going to be doing is uh, I want to test it with this. So instead of uh, giving it a pose in the form of a human figure, let's see if we draw the sketch and it's able to uh, adopt this pose or not. All right, so it would be an interesting test. Uh, so let's generate this. Like as you can see with all the other results, uh, now you have the ability to simply define the pose and put the character in that pose. Sometimes it's really hard to describe that pose um, in your prompt, right? Uh, in probe, if you are generating an image based on simply the text, uh, it kind of becomes harder to uh, capture everything in terms of the poses that you want to define. But now you have the ability to add this visual representation representation of the pose. So uh, that is going to open a lot of different possibilities, I think. All right, um, I think it didn't really work on uh, the skeleton. Like if, if you look at this image, the yes, the hands are hanging on the side, so it seems to be replicating it. Uh, but like, for example, in this image, there's one hand up. I'm not sure what's going on over there, but uh, like it seems to be working on human poses when, when uh, there are humans in the image, but it uh, doesn't seem to work uh, really good if you have just a sketch of the skeleton. All right, let's try this one more. Okay, the, the results are pretty nice, I think. Uh, so it's a very similar pose to what is in this picture. Now I'm going to try this crazy one at the end. I don't think it's going to work. Um, but let's see. There is no harm in trying. And we are not going to know until we try it, right? So let's try this one. Okay, that didn't really work. Uh, like in this picture, uh, the model is trying to do something. Uh, but I guess like not exactly what we are trying to do. And it's a really hard pose, so I, I, I don't really blame them. Uh, for this at all. We can try one more. Uh, just keep in mind that you have this uh, post to image option only on the models that are based on uh, uh, stable diffusion 1.5. So anything else, you are not going to see this option uh, like for some of the models. For example, if you uh, select something else, I think this realistic portraits is based on 2.1 or like stable diffusion 2.1. So you're not going to see this option. Um, I'm assuming that that's going to come pretty quickly. You see here, uh, it's able to do a pretty good job, I would say. All right, uh, that's all for this video. I hope you liked the content and found this useful. Uh, if you did, uh, consider liking the video. This gives a boost to the uh, video and a signal to the algorithm. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.